Hello everyone, it's Stevio here, and we got paid from our auction. So if you look up there, we got 2.14 million. The only issue is, is we got our a lot of loans. So let's look here. So if I pull it up here on the computer here, you can see we got 1.99 million dollars in our loan so my grandpa ran up the loan due to his health failing health uh, he is now in the retirement home so we need to pay that off that's why we need to save this farm because it was going into debt going under basically than what it's worth so we could pay that off uh, we do have a lot of uh, purchases we need to make with the, the remaining money that we have. Maybe buy some land, uh, maybe update some of the buildings, maybe get some more cattle. All of them are possibilities, but let's get to it. So today I need to stop by the bank to pay off that loan amount and I also need to uh, fill a contract that my grandpa had so I need to get a load of corn into the local co-op so I'll be uh, transporting that and I'll hit two thing, two targets with one stone here so I'll stop by the bank and old top kick GMC truck and uh, unload the corn while I'm at it then I would like to spread some manure on our grass field there out there our beautiful grass field that we're gonna chisel up I know I know but we need more cropland so that's the plan also my cousin's gonna be here He's gonna run the Alice Chalmers and we're gonna chisel up our far field over there our crop field so at first Let's go check the cattle. Hey Buck, how's it going? Yeah, good Buck. So we're gonna go over here. I'm just gonna hop the fence, check the cattle here quickly. I gotta prep the tractors onto the manure spreaders. Gotta get them ready to go. I also need to get the Alice Chalmers ready so when my cousin gets here, he can just jump in it and start chiseling. Our Black Angus are doing good. Go look at our Jersey cattle over here. It's like they still got feed in the trough. It's like uh, the mothers, they're starting to get bigger there, so that's good. Need some baby calves running around here. Always got to check this water for whatever reason. I don't think this pump's working correctly. So they got water. That's good. So I think I'll go start up the top kick truck. Get that filling up with uh, some corn. And then while that's going on, I'll unhook the 8550 Alice Chalmers from the cultivator and put it on the chisel. Started right up. So we're just going to head around. I'm not for sure how many bushels we have or my grandpa has in here, but I know we need one contract filled. So there may be others in the future. I'm not for sure what exactly contracts he had. So while that's filling with corn, we'll run over here and get our Alice Chalmers unhooked. Alright, we'll just leave it right here. There we go. Now we just have to hook up the chisel. Alright, so now that the chisel's hooked up, I'll just leave this over on the side of the field. I'm not sure when my uh, cousin will get here. Hopefully had this on a timer so shouldn't overfilled looks like we're good so I'll just go and take this into the elevator or the co-op elevator here quick now we stopped off at the bank I'm gonna stop at the local diner here and get us some chow oh you ever feel that when you eat so much Ugh. might have to take a nap but we're just pulling in here to our driveway we paid off the bank. If you can see, we uh, lost basically almost all of our money. We got about a half mil left. Made about 20000 on my grandpa's contract there on corn. 
But other than that, we uh, we could barely feel that loan loss. So we made a lot of money off of the farmland and the auction. So if you don't remember, we actually had a bank loan on the last farm too. So we had to obviously pay that off before the bank would give us the final payout because the loan was against the farm. But after that was all said and done, we made just about 2.4 million off the farmland, the farm place, and all the equipment. So pretty good payout, that's for sure. Uh, now uh, we're debt free for the time being, but I think uh, we're going to have to do some major updates. Some, this place is pretty run down if you haven't noticed, so that's not going to last long. Let's just say that. It's going to take a lot to save this farm. So the plan is I want to take this uh, case tractor. I'm going to use this on one of the manure spreaders, one of the two. Uh, I want to take the side tanks off and I want to unhook the planter. So let's do that. I'm going to park this planter inside our uh, shop here. So we still have some parts to put on it, so we're not completely done yet. Alright. Try to back this old girl up. Ooh, nice. And just has a little bit of clearance on each side, but not too much. There we go. That's probably good right there. So we got to unhook the hydraulics. There we go. And then unhook the planter. So now I got to decide where I want to put my uh, saddle tanks at here. Not sure where I want to put them. Yeah, it's up. Probably just end up putting them right here. I'm not going to use this area right here. Time being. Unhook them. There we go. And I love how this tractor sounds. Alright. So I think I'm going to put the idea manure spreader on this tractor. Pretty sure that one's over here. There we go. Yep. Right here in this shed. Can't fit in there. I'm gonna have to go over here. Alright. So that's hooked up. Now we'll pull that over by our uh, pit. Also want to get our uh, 4250 on a manure spreader. So I'll start this tractor up here. Of course it starts up right at the first turn. So uh, we will put our other manure spreader or H&S on this old girl. We'll have to back up very carefully. It looks like it's over there in the corner. Oh, here's my cousin coming down the road here. So, I'll probably, before I get too far into this, so if you didn't know, my cousin is a female. So she's doing pretty good. That's one of the first times she drove a tractor. So, just gave her a short little lesson. I'm going to watch her a little bit just to make sure... Nothing crazy happens here. Looks like everything's going good so far. No major issues there. So I'll leave her be and I'll run over here and start spreading some manure. You didn't know my cousin is a pretty bad chick. She likes collecting guns. Definitely don't want to uh, mess with her. So I had to move this uh, baler out of the way first 
to get to the manure spreader. Just couldn't fit the tractor in there. Just leave that park right there. Unhook that. Alright. Now we have to back this old girl up. There we go. Now we're hitched up. Now we got the manure spreaders on. Now we just have to uh, get our new hauling over there and start filling them up. Alright, so this load is loaded. So we'll go out and see how this thing spreads. So it looks like uh, my cousin is going around her second headland there. There we go. I forgot to hook up the PTO shafts. So now we're hooked up. Headed off here. So, looks like it's spreading pretty good. Definitely putting some tonnage down on this field. Pretty good rate. So might have to uh, increase that a little bit. Sure doesn't take too long. Everything seems like it's running good with this manure spreader. Alright, fold that manure spreader up. Go back and get another load. Cousin looks like she's still doing good. Started on her third headland. Getting that ch chiseled up nicely. We might end up knifing in some nitrogen later on there. We squeeze by here, yep, we can. We'll go right over here. Get the John Deere up in place. Alright, we'll fill this uh, old uh, H&S up. Pretty sure it holds about the same as the new idea. Doesn't really take too long with this uh, kid steer. That's why I like a kid steer. It's just uh, so efficient. Turns on a dime. Pretty heavy load that we put on here. go dump that in there I think with just one more bucket full should be good we're filling at a uh, 3.2 tons per bucket. Now that's full. Lower this and oh, too far. Shut that off quick. Take this girl, see how it handles. So just about 10 tons we have per load here. She's still making her rounds around that field there going pretty good so she wanted to help her grand grandpa out so this is the best way she can do it doesn't have a lot of money but she can help out me on the farm save the farm so we left off all the way on the other end of this field here open up the gate there oh man I forgot to hook the PTO up on this thing too There we go. Now we can go. Don't know why I forgot to hook both PTOs up. So this is spreading about the rate I want to spread now. It's doing pretty good. So we're definitely going to have a lot of poo down for this bean ground here. Stinky. 
so no one could give me uh, any bluff because now I'm uh, I have a cab tractor and I'm spreading uh, manure. So we are already on our third load. So we've got a we're spreading a lot of poo here. So so glad my grandpa decided to buy this kid steer. Just such a convenient kid steer to have here. Definitely on this rundown farm having a new piece of equipment. I think this is one of the top items. This, a planter, and a combine. Some of the most important things you can have on the farm, I think. Just in my opinion. New tractor really isn't that important. So, not all the time anyways. But, uh, kid steer that works. That you enjoy using. Maybe that and a sprayer too is another important piece of equipment on a farm. Alright, done with that load. Take this load over. Start where the John Deere left off. Oh, just folding that up. There's our other manure spreader running there. And take this over and fill up this case quickly. Making pretty good time, so that would be our fourth load. So now we have this is going to be our fifth load. Don't want to run into the cement wall there. It's not good. Fill this up here. Doesn't take long here. Right in there. There we go. Sure do feel like you sit low when you sit in one of these. That's for sure. Back this up. Start all over again. Dump her in. It's kind of nice that this just takes exactly three loads of this bucket as long as we fill the bucket all the way up. Go. And this should be the last load. Last bucket, anyways. There we go. Now that's full. So it looks like that manure spreader, it's headed back over good. Be our third roll around. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around. We're just filling up the case now. Just got here. Dump this in. Probably get a little bit farther ahead there. There we go. One load. We just gotta get the second load in. There we go. Sure am having fun dealing with my poo over here. So I like running the kid steer when you get to uh, dump poo. Good thing about that is you don't have to be uh, finesse. Basically, uh, as long as you get it out of the bunker and into the wagon, the poo spreader, is you're good. Doesn't have to 
take much thought or process in it. As long as that happens, everything is good. So there we go. Dump the last bucket in there. There we go. Now they should take off here. There we go. Another load taking off. We'll get a full bucket into our kid steer here while we're waiting for the next person to come along. Alright, so this is our next load coming up here. Man, does that case sound good. Hmm. Sounds just like my, uh, one of my combines I know. So, perfect. Stop right there. Doesn't take long with this thing. Fill up with another big load. A couple tons of manure. Right over here. Very uh, efficient manure operation we're running here. That's for sure. One more load. That filled up. There we go. Another load of the bucket. Turn on a dime there. Fill her up to the brim. And give her a wave. Did she not see my wave? Oh, yeah, she did. There she goes. There she goes. Now we just need to wait for the John Deere. We'll fill up another, have a bucket waiting for it. Still you're the one who brings out the best in me. We're a little messed up, baby. Kind of up and down and we keep going till we hit the ground. But then we... So we're just cleaning up what my cousin, she already left. So we're just cleaning up the edges. She had to go to an appointment, so we're just going to clean this up a little bit. Doesn't have much, just on the corners where she rounded them out. Otherwise, she did a pretty good job, I think. Put this chisel down. Done with that end, and we just have to do two more corners, I guess. That little bit there, we're just gonna leave that. Our nurse spreader's going out there still. So that thing's going good. So we'll probably start chiseling uh, that side tomorrow. Because we're gonna chisel the grass in after we get the manure out. Plan on knifing in some anhydrous on this side. Alright, so now we just have to get this final little bit right here like our cattle are grazing nicely in the pasture land. Hopefully uh, further along in spring they should be able to eat the grass and get fed off the grass on the pasture land. There we go. Now we're done with that. We'll fold it up. We'll give this a pressure washing off. All right, we'll just nose this tractor into this shed for the night. All right, now we need to go fill up these manure spreaders. I think both of them are wait waiting over here for us. Jump in here. We're going to get our boots dirty now. There we go. Give him a wave. There we go. There's their good sound of Magnum right there. Has no patience whatsoever. Just barge right in there. 
give her the wave. She's gone now. Sprint manure while these two tractors pass just like that. So don't have very much longer with uh, this. I don't should be able to get done with this load here. We will see. Man, almost drove it into the trees right there. I wasn't paying attention. That's what you get when you're looking in the rear view mirror like that. I like how all the gauges work. Very high detail inside this cab. Like the power shift, 18 speed. You can see all 18 speeds down there. So really easy tractor to drive, this Magnum. So looks like we're gonna have to fill up the John Deere for one more load. So it's headed back to the pile. A poo. Over there, so spreading pretty nicely here. So definitely got a, a good spread on this uh, pasture land because this sit dormant, so get some good uh, topsoil growth on this land. Give him the wave. Drive this over to our little uh, shed over on the side. Perfect shed for this kid steer. While we're working side by side here, so I did have to fill this uh, new idea up one final time. So get this little sliver on this side of the field. Hopefully, I make it to the other end. It's going to be close. Uh, the John Deere might have enough to finish this off. Ooh, man, don't think I'm gonna get to the other end. That's oh, too bad. We just missed that. Park this over to the side here. It's bread and manure. So this should be our last little bit right here. Amazing how this John Deere just stays so clean all the time. Hmm. We are finished, but we're gonna put out this remaining manure on the field, so we'll just double tap this field a little bit. No rhyme or reason. Just head off. Shouldn't hurt the crops too much with this extra uh, manure on. You can over manure a crop and burn off some crops. Done with that. This field should be ready to chisel now. Alright, well we're going to pressure washer these manure spreaders off and uh, before I get my face covered with uh, splash black poo, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.